Hi everybody, this is Chris Glitzos, known as a wood tinkerer. Well, you see a certain getup. Today I'm at a friend's house and I'm restoring the deck. I came in a couple of months ago and we repaired about 30%, but I just wanted to go over some details. With today's economy, a lot of people uh, stop spending money on decks until they're able to get themselves on their feet. Uh, I'm guilty of that as well at my personal residence. Today we're replacing approximately 15 to 20 boards off this particular deck. So if you bear with me, um, well, with no further ado, we're going to get, get started. All right? Now, in order to move things faster, the best thing is actually left to do is take all the rotten pieces out in one shot. That will speed up the process a lot faster. Next thing you need to do is remove every nail and leave a clean surface. Pick up all your nails, make sure because they are dangerous if they are stepped upon and leave the surface clear, ready for the new board to be installed. I'm going to take a few minutes to talk to you about a premium end of deck board and a low end. The low end has wood nuts all over it and you could save a lot of money that way. The other one hardly has any along the way. So with no further ado, let me show you what the difference of the two look like. Putting one against the other to tell the difference. Premium on the right and, not, and the second end on the left. If you could take the board out and flip it, you could actually have a nice piece of wood to be able to do your deck with without putting too much money out of pocket to refinish it. And I'll show you why. The bottom piece does is not in the elements and at the same time it gives you a nice clean surface and repair a deck at a low budget.
not to cause any damages to the new wood, I decided to cut the pieces that I'm taking out to make it a lot easier for them to come out. 